Thanks, Bernard. Thanks for your time. And uh, we hear today that uh, you know Sassel's in this restructured uh, position now, that it's really focusing on growth in two key jurisdictions, North America being one, so its home base in South Africa and Southern Africa being the other. But a key ingredient uh, has emerged for that growth is gas. And I just wanted to talk about that shift. We know you as a coal to liquids type company, but gas to liquids on gas as a key ingredient for growth has emerged as a decisive shift in the way you go forward. Mm. Now, thanks, Terence. Thanks for the opportunity. And, and yes, we, we're a new company, or, or we really are focusing on, on repositioning ourselves in, in, in many ways. First of all, in South Africa, just the way we're structured uh, is going to make a difference in terms of how we operate going forward. But in terms of our focus on gas, that our strength over the min last few years has been to develop a position where we can monetize gas. And, and so our GTL proposition is one, but we've also monetized gas in the chemicals environment in terms of cracker technology. So, so the focus is really uh, the South African value chain. We'll continue to, to, to look for opportunities to grow that, and, and that includes both uh, optimizing our coal to, to liquids value chain, but also looking to, to opportunities for, for gas-based growth in, in Southern Africa. And, and then in the US, where there is a lot of gas at the moment, and, and the whole gas uh, world has changed quite significantly over the last few years, we, we believe we're well positioned to, to exploit that opportunity as well by, as David said, expanding our operations in, in, in the US in terms of monetizing gas. So, so we think um, our future lies in, in the monetization of gas. We believe it's something that we've grown uh, our technology over time and we're, we're in a position to be able to do that going forward. And that's really uh, why we're repositioning ourselves to exploit, I guess, the, the gas dispensation in the US where we have access to um, uh, gas, uh, we believe, uh, competitive gas. Mm. And just staying in the North America jurisdiction has become a key growth territory for Cecil. Two mega projects on the cards, one coming to some sort of maturity now around the cracker. Can you talk about how that's going and what needs to still be done before a final investment decision is made? Well, you allude to the two mega projects. So the cracker, we're, we're in the sort of final throes of of getting towards an FID uh, decision uh, later this, this calendar year. Uh, recently, we've been awarded or given all the permits, the, the wetland permits, all the environmental permits in, in that space. That's a very positive step. Um, and, and we're very pleased with the progress that we're making on, on the cracker uh, and, and obviously the derivative plants associated with that. Um, and that's a big, big step in terms of our growth in, in, in the U.S. Uh, and then the other mega project, the GTR portion with, with its uh, value add projects, uh, is also progressing well. Uh, moving into feed uh, and and that will be then phased by approximately two years uh, relative to the cracker. And coming back closer to home, Mozambique's a massive gas jurisdiction now. You've already been playing in that space for a number of years but there have been massive discoveries up in the north and you've got a GTL aspirations there potentially too. Yeah, so committed to the region as, as we've said, uh, Mozambique is is, is an important uh, jurisdiction for us. So, so we're very active in, in, in not only securing gas for our, for our own business, but also uh, will participate in the monetization of gas in, in Mozambique. So, so the, the gas reserves up north, um, how those will be monetized, I think that will still need to play out. Uh, significant gas, as, as we all know, um, but, but I think the monetization uh, plan for that uh, still needs to be developed. Uh, we're investigating GTL uh, for Mozambique. Um, that's still, still work in progress. But upstream in Mozambique and South Africa, you've got some uh, plans uh, to do more drilling, both in Mozambique and our offshore Durban. Can you talk us through some of those ideas? Well, in, in, the, in the southern Mozambican Basin, we have a few areas that we have licenses and, and we continue to explore and to drill there. Uh, uh, and, uh, and that's really to, to support the, the, the gas business that we've already established in, in both uh, South Africa and in, in southern Mozambique. Uh, and then we have some, some work that's being done with, with a partner of Durban to really try and understand what the opportunities are there and, and, and uh, when, when and if, we, well, if we're successful in that area, it, it'll certainly have significant implications for the region as well. The key uncertainty about for an upstream investor in South Africa at the moment relates to the legislative framework, the MPRDA, the Mineral Petroleum Resource Development Act. 
Um, what is Cecil doing around in that area? Are you waiting and seeing what the minister has to do? Are you engaging with the government on the issue? Um, it is going to be key, I believe, for, for the region. Um, we do engage with government on an ongoing basis on those and, and other regulatory issues, uh, but also through, through uh, business um, organisations like BLSA and BUSA. And then you've gone through a fairly significant restructuring exercise in Cecil. Obviously, during that time, um, people worry when they see also your future pipeline of projects being in North America, mm -hmm. that maybe Cecil is not going to be a South African company in future. What sort of assurances can Cecil give that this is uh, still Cecil's home mm -hmm. and that, uh, that you're here for the long run? Okay, it, it's, it's a question that always comes up and, and understandably so, but, but I really do want to reiterate again that, that we are a proudly South African company with our roots here and we have aspirations to be here for a long time. I think both David and Paul spoke about our 2050 vision, so, so we have aspirations to, to not only maintain our existing value chain here, but to nurture it and to grow it over the next years uh, and to make sure that we're here in a very meaningful way until, until and, and probably even beyond 2050. So at the moment, the spend or the capital that we spend in South Africa, I think uh, the numbers last year were still 57% of our capital in South Africa. Sure, that percentage will decrease as we, as we uh, progress our, our big projects in the US over the next few years. But, but after that, as David said, we'll, we'll spend, continue to spend significant amounts of money in this region because we, we really do believe in, in the value that, that can be uh, generated in this region and, and will continue to, to be a significant player uh, going forward. We, we spend a lot of money and, and time and energy and effort um, just uh, in Mozambique, and that's really about securing resources for the region, uh, including South Africa. So, so we really are committed to, to South Africa and, and will be here for a long time.